crisis in Syria. UN inspectors fired on this morning as the Obama administration ramps up plans for a military strike after concluding the Assad regime almost certainly used chemical weapons against its own people. ABC's Martha Reddits has been reporting all week from the region. She joins us from Cairo now. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, George. The U.S. is more convinced than ever before that this was a chemical attack, and it is now up to President Obama to decide what to do. The images, the evidence gathered in the attack have prompted this morning the U.S. Secretary of State to issue the strongest statement to date. John Kerry saying the U.S. has very little doubt that a chemical weapon was used by the Syrian regime last week, killing hundreds or as many as a thousand Syrian civilians. In the region this morning, possible options for a response are being discussed. The U.S. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs and Head of Central Command holding meetings with counterparts from across the region in Amman. U.S. Navy destroyers and submarines are now positioned in the Mediterranean Sea, armed with cruise missiles, ready to carry out strikes inside Syria if the president orders them. Fighter jets are at the ready as well, although the jets themselves would not cross into Syrian airspace. We will use our aircraft and our bombers to launch glide weapons, standoff weapons from well outside the Syrian surface-to-air missile threat so that our, our air crews will not be in any danger and can re return home safely. But the White House does not want the U.S. to act alone and has been aggressively trying to get U.N. authorization for a possible strike, although Russia could stand in the way. The U.N. Secretary General has already promised action if the reports are true and has inspectors on the ground this morning. Such a crime against humanity uh, should result in serious consequences. Syria's leader Bashar al-Assad said overnight that any attack by the U.S. would end in failure. As for how soon a U.S. strike could occur, an administration official tells ABC News they would want it to be timely to prevent any future chemical attacks, George. And Martha, at this point, with the rhetoric so hot and the president's red line having been crossed, I mean, military action is all but inevitable, isn't it? I can't see how the administration would walk this back for exactly the reason you said. The rhetoric has been so sharp. And it's not like they're telling Assad to do something. The deed has apparently been done. So this would be punishment and to prevent further attacks, George. Okay, thanks, Martha.